I mean, come on. Look at that. Is that not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Ranch makes everything better. So what do we do? We got a fountain of ranch for this mukbang today. Mukbang. Mukbang. I don't know why I say it like that. Look at this smorgasbord of delicious treats that's gonna go with this delicious ranch. It's ridiculous. Way over the top, but that's me. I'm here for it. We're, we're over the top, all right? Let's get into it. Today, we got a giant ranch fountain and we got a bunch of food in front of us. So we're just gonna start digging in, combining it all. We'll start with a little pepperoni pizza action. Ooh, you see that? That's drippy. Mm. I mean, look at that. Oh, you can put it in anywhere. From the top, from the middle. Oh, I kind of messed it up by doing that. Oh, whatever. Nice little dip. Ranch is the best topping for pizza. I'm telling you now. Mm. You guys know how it works. We try it all. We give it a review. We give it a rating. Like I said, ranch, best topping for pizza. Overall rate, ranch and the pizza, eight out of 10. Starting off really, really solid. We love our good eight out of 10s. Let's hop onto this right here. We got garlic Parmesan wings. They really didn't put much garlic on there, but we're Parmesan, matter of fact. Y'all see the nugget going in. Fill it up, fill it up. I'm telling you, that savory taste, crunch, the ranch, perfect combination with that garlic parm. Oh, I love ranch. <clears throat> Overall, garlic parmesan wings with the ranch fountain, 8.5 out of 10. Right there, boom, we are hopping onto these fries. Look at how good these Cajun cut, seasoned fries. Cajun seasoned fries. Nice little dippy dip dip dip. Mm. Mm. That Cajun add a little zing to that. Not as crunchy as I would like. They're pretty soft. I like more of a crunchy golden brown cooked outside. These are a bit soft, but still fire. Overall rate, 7.8 out of 10. Five second roll. All right, you already know what we got up here. We got some um, pizza rolls. Classic pizza roll. Get in that found. This is perfect for a pizza roll. Every time I have pizza rolls, I'm gonna have a ranch found. Why not? Going back for more. I love, love a good ranch dip fountain pizza roll. Pizza rolls are good. They're not amazing, they're good. As long as you don't burn the roof of your mouth, they're good. I'll give it a rate, 7.5 out of 10. Not sure if you guys could tell what that was in front of the pizza rolls, but we got ourselves a whole bunch of bacon. That's right, I cooked up bacon. So I'm gonna try bacon and ranch. I don't think I've ever tried this before, so just full send it. Get it, dip it in there. It's getting so saucy. I love when the sauce just drips down. The bacon, the meat filled with white cream sauce. Yeah, that's pretty fire. All right, we're gonna try that again because I need to figure out whether or not that was a fluke, a mistake, or ranch and bacon is a new thing. We're starting to use up a bit of ranch, so our found's getting a little wonky, as you can see. The flow is not as good. That's pretty good. The bacon is gonna get a rate of 7.7 .7 out of 10. I know, I know, more than the pizza rolls. I'm sorry, bacon and ranch, go try it for yourself. But the pizza rolls did not match up fairly, I guess. Bacon took the, the championship out of that little battle plate right there. But onto the dino nuggies, are you kidding me? I can't have a mukbang without dino nugs or a ranch mukbang. Ooh. Mm. That's just the most basic thing in the world. Chicken nuggets, ranch, overall rate, eight out of 10. I mean, what can you do? It's just pretty standard, straight up. Good every single time. We slid off the other food to the side because we have two more things to try left on our smorgasbord with the ranch fountain. We got breadsticks and some barbecue wings. As simple as that, barbecue wings, we can just go ahead with this one. Why? Because you can't go wrong with barbecue wings and ranch. Go comment down below. Are you traditional with the bone in or boneless? I'll be honest, I'm a big boneless wing kind of guy. I'll eat traditional, I like traditional, but I'm a big boneless kind of guy. Easy, 8.2 out of 10. The tanginess of the barbecue and that savory taste of the buttermilk ranch is exquisite. Let's break into the breadsticks. I've been excited for this one. That's kind of why I've saved it for last. I don't know if I've ever dipped a breadstick in ranch. Normally you dip them in just marinara sauce. We're gonna try and get one out here. And that's full send. Cheers. 
I don't know why I never said I tried this before. It just tastes like when you dip the crust of pizza into ranch. Makes sense. Both bread, both pizza-ish dough. So that was pretty basic. But overall rate for the breadsticks and the ranch, 7 out of 10. It, I'm not crazy about it, but it's just very standard. It's just like dipping bread into ranch. I'm sure you can expect what that would taste like. Hold up. Wait a second. Our ranch is still alive. We are going to do something sweet. I got some macaroons. Oh my goodness. We've had all this salty food. We need something sweet. If I can get it, come on. All right, guys, what color should I pick? There's brown, yellow, pink, a lighter brown, and green, and a whitish pale. Which one? Which one? All right, you guys tell me when to stop, all right? Brrr, boom! Pink it is. I don't know what flavor this would be. Strawberry? Well, anyways, I'm not really too excited for this. I'd rather just eat the straight-up macaroon, but cheers, I guess. No, no, don't do that. Hold on, hold on. Those did not combine well. Overall rate, two out of 10. Definitely just leave the macaroon by itself. It is disrespectful to do that, to be honest. I'm, I'm sorry, macaroon. Finishing up the mukbang with another bite of the breadstick, and I'm gonna keep digging in. I hope you are eating along with me today, but I appreciate you guys, and let's get saucy in this ranch. Cheers, I don't know how to end this video, but I dip, you dip, we dip.